All right, so for the sort of last algorithmic task on the machine project, what we're doing here is we're constructing a, a graph of restaurants. Um, and the sort of the nodes in this graph are like, you know, maybe say that's Burger King. You know, over here I've got one of my faves, Terra Thai. Uh, maybe I've got Sakanaya over here, you know. And so, so the, the nodes are restaurants. And we add an edge between two nodes or two restaurants when it appears in the same user's preferences. There's a relationship there. So let's say that, you know, I like both. Well, I don't really like Burger King. Let's try something else. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. How about Ambar India? Okay. So I like, you know, Ambar India and Sakanaya. So I add an edge here. Um, and then, you know, maybe somebody else likes both Sakanaya and Terra Thai, so we had an edge there. Um, now, this is a graph, and we might think about sort of what are the properties of this graph. So it's undirected because anytime um, one restaurant appears in a list with another, that other restaurant also appears together with the first one. So these, uh, there's no directionality to these edges. However, the edges are weighted. So imagine that you know, I like, so if I like these three restaurants, then the graph looks like this, right? Because I'm added an edge between all three. Now let's say somebody else um, only likes Ambar India and Sakanaya. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add weights to these edges of one. And now I add a, a weight of one to that edge. So that edge is two. And as you go, you can imagine that the edges have different weights. Now, the graph is not necessarily connected because, you know, maybe, and I hate to pick on Burger King here, but here we go, uh, maybe no one likes Burger King. Or maybe there's a little cluster of restaurants over here that people like, but that doesn't connect with the rest of the group. So it's not necessarily that the graph is connected. So starting from one uh, place in the graph, I'm not necessarily going to be able to reach all of the other nodes. Um, that's okay. But it is weighted because we have these uh, weights that reflect the number of times that this pair of restaurants appears in different lists of preferences. So what we're going to do, and, and we've, we've actually gone over this, right? So we've seen how to do this in the past, um, you know, with uh, on graphs where we've done um, a graph traversal um, using, um, you know, we've done graph traversal and we've also done this idea of exploring a local neighborhood. And what we're going to do here is we're going to apply the idea of, you know, how many restaurants are within a certain number of hops of a starting point. But as a little twist, we're going to essentially ignore any edges that have weights of one. Uh, so any edge that doesn't have a weight of at least two, we, you can almost essentially think of it as removing it from the graph. So if I start, let's, let's review this, right? So let's say I start here and I look at all of its neighbors. If I include the edges with, um, with weight one, then the neighbors are Teratai and Sakanaya. If I remove those edges, then all I have left is this edge up here with uh, uh, weight two, and now it's only neighbor is Sakanaya. So as you traverse the graph and you're visiting neighbors, you're essentially going to ignore any neighbors that you can reach with a weight of one. You're only going to continue to neighbors that have a weight of at least two or more um, in, in, the weighted, in the weighted undirected graph. Um, so if you do this and you apply that, you know, the, the, uh, the approach that we used previously, to visiting all the nodes within a certain uh, distance of a particular node, that's the right way to, uh, to approach this problem.